I haven't posted yet today because uh, literally these vlogs are ruining my life. There was a technical glitch. I was up till one in the morning trying to fix it and then all morning today and then I was tired and I've been in bed all day and now I have to go to a party. It's Raquel's 29th birthday on today the 29th, so that's her champagne birthday. It was supposed to be at 7 p.m. but she moved it to 6 p.m. because there's an extra charge if you make the reservations later and so that starts in five minutes and I don't have time to run uh, like at the gym but I need to go and do weights for 15 minutes just so I don't feel like a complete fat slob showing up. Last night I wanted to go to bed at 10 o'clock but then I realized that yesterday's Instagram story had a problem. I rambled too long apparently and this you can't find this on Google but I discovered this myself there is a limit to how long Instagram stories can be and it seems like it's about 20 minutes so as I was rambling on last night it started racing the first half of the day so I was losing the video and I wouldn't be able to download the whole thing and share it with you on Facebook so just before bed I started panicking and uh, this week I, I linked my Facebook and Instagram so it should be going to my Facebook story as well but I checked and there's something wrong with my personal Facebook account that I can't see my story or anybody else's story. They don't load, so I couldn't see it. And I discovered a friend uh, could see my, my story in their account. Anyway, I'll finish this whole story of the technical crap. But in short, like I'll finish the story later, but in short, yeah, I was up till one in the morning trying to fix it and then I was thinking about it all night and then I was doing it all day. I don't want to do these vlogs anymore, at least not like this. Uh, Instagram and Facebook are not designed for this. There's too many glitches. Even when they do work, the sound is off. It's all crap. So maybe I'll just film a video at the end of each day just telling a story or something. Okay, I did 20 minutes of wait. That's all I have time for now. And I don't think that burned off the uh, two bacon cheese and egg sandwiches I made earlier today. That's the only thing I've eaten today. I'm disgusting. So from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. last night, I was doing things like deleting every app in my Facebook, so I thought maybe that would clear up my Facebook, and I was unliking every page. And then I installed the new operating system on my computer just in case, and that took over 40 minutes, so I just had to keep it running while I went to sleep. Oh, and before that, uh, I was using a Facebook friend, a friend's Facebook account, and I set up my camera or my phone on a tripod, and I filmed my Instagram story. Oh, oh my key! I can't get it in the. I filmed my Instagram story or my Facebook story because it goes to my Facebook, but it was the other person's Facebook. Just having on my phone, even though that would look like crap and everything, but just because I didn't want to lose it all. And then all night, I was just literally, I was just dreaming about downloading Facebook stuff. And I woke up at 5 in the morning, and I went back to sleep. I took more melatonin at 5 in the morning. Uh, and then at 9.40, Kathleen came over. I messaged her when I woke up, and I said, there's an emergency. Can I see your computer or whatever? She had no solutions. Like, I, she could view my thing, but she, she had to go to the gym. So I went up, then screen-grabbing it from a friend's page. And it took me a couple hours to get the right software to be able to record the sound from that. Anyways, and then I was just in bed all day. And all just so I could preserve yesterday's Instagram story. So I clearly need to rethink this whole procedure. Oh, and just in case I never do these again, I should say what Sapna wanted me to say. She messaged me today. She wanted to do a Skype test because she was having sound issues with her Skype. And she says, no, the, the, what she says about my stories is that it's her guilty pleasure. That's the term she uses, guilty pleasure. She says it's a guilty pleasure like reading Archie comic books. And that's actually my guilty pleasure too. I used to go into my sister's room and borrow all her Archies. I haven't done that in like 30 years, but yeah. All right, now I need to shower and get to Raquel's party. She's the girl who films me at my TIFF things. So we actually like her. She's one of the good ones. So I got to get there. Oh, I guess I should have got a present. Oh, God. Well, my presents will be a present, right? Now, wait, she didn't come to my mini birthday party a couple weeks ago because she had some writers meet up or something, so I don't owe her anything, but I'll go to this thing, okay. Oh, and just one other thing. Uh, when I was watching the Facebook story play back my Instagram story, and I was filming it, I realized uh, a lot of the clips were missing. Like, I'd say something, and then there's this, it doesn't make any sense, because I'm talking about something else, and I'm like, it's missing sections. So I don't know if that happens in Instagram, or it's happening once it's transferred to Facebook. And I also noticed it was moving things around. Maybe the signal wasn't great in the grocery store, but there'd be a clip of the butter, but then it would switch to the yogurt and then back to the butter. So none of this is making any sense. 
I, with your permission, guys, I might do something like, you know, maybe I'll post a couple little things during the day, like here I am here, but maybe at the end of the day, I'll just sit and tell a story for five minutes about my day or something, and that'll be a nice tight video, and we won't have to worry about all these technical crap things. Great, I just saw a text from Raquel from 40 minutes ago that I didn't notice, wondering if I'm coming, so I guess she is aware that I'm not there and that I was supposed to be. I think I need to, I don't know what, I've seen doctors about my sleep problems, I don't know what to do with my life. How do I get in here? Huh, only an hour and a half late. Okay, when I got here, there was just two guys and her. But since then, two other guys and a girl have shown up. So we've got a big party now. I work from home. I'm more like a director. I just started. Birthday girl. Right. Okay. Big party. Oh, and I have good news about Jennifer Lawrence. I say, so that guy just told me he really liked my TIFF interviews and they disrupted his day. It was like really pleasurable seeing all of the, the adventures of me in between, like trying to lose weight and doing all my stuff. And he says, I really have a knack for it and, and I should keep up with it. So that's very nice. And Raquel just told me that Jennifer Lawrence broke up with Darren Aronofsky. And I was like, ah, I knew they would. Because yesterday or this week, somebody said, oh, did you hear they got engaged? I'm like, there's no way they got engaged. And sure enough, it's the opposite. And this is my in. So Louis C.K. is like down and out, and Jennifer Yanoff, or sorry, that my ex-girlfriend is Jennifer Yanoff, but Jennifer Lawrence is single, and uh, and this guy says he knows a girl who's been her stand-in eight times in movies, and all the X-Men and everything. So, okay, let's make this happen. It's funny, the other girl here, uh, her name is Raquel, too, and she just said, oh, did you hear Jennifer Lawrence is rude to the public? And I'm like, oh, yeah, Charlene sent me a, a link today, I haven't even opened it yet, that said Jennifer Lawrence is rude to her fans. I don't believe it. The Graham guy to my right just said, so, uh, how's David Duchovny going? You still hanging out with him? And I was like, what? But then I realized, oh, right, Californication, because I look like Evan Handler, who was also Harry on Sex of the City. And he's like, I'll bet you get that a lot. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, whatever. I don't. I didn't get the name, but it was a special the video. Stuff. The one the waiter, waiter recommended. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm not in. Our friendly waiter bringing us a dessert tray for our champagne birthday girl. Wow. Two dessert trays. Hey, get this. Get this. Oh, oh, she's gonna make a wish, and I'm Let's gonna. My wish. clothes are gonna disappear. Oh my God! I'm nude. Look at how awesome this washroom is. It's so hipster. This place is the ultimate Queen West hipster place. And uh, the restaurant just messaged back on Instagram saying thanks for coming. And I told them I'll interview you anytime, help promote the place. I think he looks like John May, and he says he's heard it before. Alright, I'm getting off, but I had a nice ride with what's your name? Ian. Ian is a filmmaker, a screenwriter. We were just talking about life and creativity, <laughs> and he's gonna cast me in his movie. I just made that part up. Is that, is that what's gonna happen? Uh, yes, right, as yeah. soon as you write that. Well, that was fun. Oh my God, we had so much fun chatting. Raquel's friend, Raquel, is a real estate agent and she says she'll come on my show and I can refer people to her uh, for real estate stuff. I'm trying to remember everybody's name. The guy that was like the Vin Diesel type from Barbados. Uh, just uh, w while we were walking outside with the group afterwards, he was like, oh my God, you're so funny. You're totally the type I want to hang out with. So he's loving me. And real estate Raquel loves my hat. She loves my Ernie hat. She's like, oh, that's so cute and everything. I don't know, I don't know if she used the word cute, but she, she expressed interest in it anyways. That girl just said it's going to be a YouTube hit. So now she's going to be famous too. Hello. What's your Instagram? That's my Instagram. Yeah. Leave your heart wild. L what, what heart wild? Leave your heart wild. All right, we're going to tag her. Okay, cool. Oh.